Hello, hello everyone, Tashina Lynette with Be Back TV, your favorite holistic business coach. And I'm coming here to share a little bit with you guys and I have an unboxing for something new with you guys. So as you come on here, give me a wave, a hi, hello. Let me know what city, state, or country you're watching me from and hashtag replay if you come for the replay. So as you guys know, I'm certified in nutrition, hydration, easy and achievable weight loss, and a lot of my clients that have came to me have gotten lots of solutions for that, but also with the hormonal issues that I had in the past three years, um, I was had going through my own journey of figuring out things. Everything is always so complicated for me, which is why I love having clients that are in the same boat because I'm always sharing stuff that I had to go through. So got that all sorted out and at the end I was not eating enough calories and I needed to eat a lot more protein and that's how I finally got things moving so if you guys um, have heard my like previous history at one point in time I was trying to be keto I did that and it's my hormones were all over the place they were crazy when I went to um, functional medicine and then I was also pre-diabetic <laughs> when I was going keto um, and so then they told me to be 100% plant-based, give me all these suggestions, and be vegan. And I had none of the results that people claim that they have when they're 100% vegan. Like, my weight went up, I didn't have more energy, I didn't have more clarity, I didn't have any of those things happen with me. But, at the same time, I found out this past summer that I probably wasn't eating enough um, calories, and I needed to concentrate more on plant-based uh, protein and so uh, I was still trying to be flexitarian for a really long time but then I was trying to figure out all my health stuff and use my Zyto Insights and then I also bought a Lumen which was giving me the same information to the uh, cup full month program that I did I think it was 12 weeks that I did where I definitely found out that I needed a lot more protein in my diet it was extremely hard for me to try to maintain all of my tracking, use the Lumen, do the low carb days, which was carb cycling, and try to still be plant based. But, and I think I got a handle on it. My life has been super, super busy. And uh, <laughs> I've been snacking a lot. We're not 100% off track or anything. We don't eat fast food, we don't eat junk food. But, want to tighten all of the things up and try to be back to my flexitarian lifestyle so doing a couple weeks of vegetarian which would be like octo vegetarian so I'll still have some whey and some eggs mostly egg whites and I will probably still have one week a month where or when I'm traveling but then I'll just be a carnivore right I won't worry about it but with that I have I, I've been doing a lot of egg white protein, egg proteins, um, in order to get high protein. I'm kind of tired of it. <laughs> like I've been doing that for six months. And so I'm looking for some high protein, and again, more plant-based whenever possible, snacks. And so I have this unboxing for you guys of overnight oats. So these, you just add milk to them. You can put it in a shaker bottle. Or you can put it in um, a bowl You with your favorite milk alternative. I'll definitely be using a milk alternative. I'm not going to use milk with this. I'll use oat or hemp or whatever grain that I want to because I'm allergic to almonds. I'm allergic to, and that's another reason why full plant-based is very hard for me because I can't get my omegas and I miss a lot of protein not being able to have coconut or, or tree nuts. So this is going to be some things that I rotate in. Of course, when my Zyto Insights say that I can have oats, because <laughs> I don't always get to eat oats. Sometimes oats is eat less. But this is going to give me some variety for when I do my egg whites and spinach or egg bites when I just buy them or whatnot. So overnight oats. We got all types of flavors. So this one is caramel apple. So all of the pouches have 20 grams of protein which they're stating on here is 40% of your daily. I need a lot more than that, so it won't be, this is just like one meal for me and I'll need a lot more protein than that. Um, so this particular one has certified gluten-free whole grain rolled oats, whey protein, so this does have whey in it, apples, date powder, caramelized sugar, 
natural flavors, chia seeds, flax seeds, Himalayan pink so salt, lemon juice powder, and monk fruit. So this one does contain milk. Uh, for those of you that do avoid milk 100%. And then I think there are some that don't. So we got all types of beautiful flavors here. So this is Space Brownie. Ugh, doesn't that sound delicious? This one does have whey powder in it, some chia seeds, Himalayan pink salt, um, monk fruit. Just for the other, like, the other uh, nutritional facts. So, like this particular one has 2% uh, of your cholesterol, 15% of saturated fat, 38% of carbs. So on my low carb days, <laughs> it's, it's gonna be hard to do these because that's like half the carbs according to my lumen. And this particular one has 10 grams of protein actually. So this is, this is one I'll probably use on a high carb day for sure because of how low the protein is and how high the carbs is. Four grams of added sugar, or two grams of added sugar. This one has 6% of my calcium, 30% of iron, which is so good. Always need some iron and 15% of my potassium. The other one had 15% of my iron in it as well. Okay, so let's go through some of these other ones. This one is chocolate chip cookie dough. This one has molasses in it, which is so good, and has 45% of iron. And that's another thing I can, you know, drop a, cup, a drop of essential oil in here. I can, if I wanted to drop some molasses, we'll get some other nutritional from the hemp or the oat milk, things like that. This one has date powder, and this one has pea protein isolate. So this particular one, chocolate chip cookie dough, is actually... Um, plant-based so this one does not have whey powder in it so some of them are plant-based so you can go and decide on which ones work for the way that you eat this one is fruity cereal I'm really I'm really excited to see if it tastes like fruity pebbles if it tastes like fruity pebbles y'all I don't even know what I'm gonna do y'all know how long it's been since I have fruity pebbles I don't have cereal ever right I just have, <laughs> I have egg whites and, and veggies in the morning or I have a protein bar, a protein shake, which is what I've been doing for the past six months. So this one has um, protein blend of whey protein and milk protein, date powder, fruit blend, diced strawberries, lemon juice powder, orange juice powder, tart cherry powder, chia seeds, maple sugar is in this one, flaxseed, hemp hearts, natural flavors, oat flour, Himalayan pink salt, monk fruit. Again, 15% of iron in here, 20 grams of protein. We got Boston cream, chocolate peanut butter banana here. Very similar, this one has 25% of my iron, which is super exciting. Blueberry cobbler, cinnamon roll. I think I got just about all the flavors. So there might have been a couple that I didn't like. Pear and apple crumble. This one, 35% of my iron, so that's good. This one is another one that has pea protein. So this one is another one for the vegetarians that don't want any type of whey. This one is s'mores. <laughs> this one actually has um, cocoa powder, which processed for alkali, and marshmallow bits that are made of invert sugar, cane sugar, water, algin, and natural flavor. And this one has 15%. This actually has 22 grams of protein. Good to know that this one is higher. And pumpkin spice. This one also has uh, pea protein and fava bean protein. So this one is another one for those that are 100% plant-based. Then this one is dark chocolate sea salt. 30% of my iron in this one. And this is a pre-protein isolate as well. So for those 100% plant this. And then we have cookies and cream. Y'all know I love my cookies and cream. Oreo is life. Oreo is life. This one is got whey protein in it. So yeah, I got two of these, of course. <laughs> 
have my mango custard. Mango custard. I love mango. This one has whey protein, diced powdered mangoes, maple sh sugar, chia seeds, flax seeds in here, vanilla powder. Now all of them have the Himalayan sea salt in there. Strawberries and cream. Mixed berries and cream. Peanut butter cookie dough. Cacao crunch. Oh, I love peanut butter and I love chocolate, y'all. So, this one has pea and fava bean protein. Hemp hearts. Again, all of them have Himalayan pink salt and monk fruit. This will have peanuts if you have a peanut allergy. But um, this one is, is completely plant-based. Other than that, of course, I got two of those. Peach upside down cake, y'all. Peach upside down cake. Doesn't that sound delicious? Excited about how these are going to go. So I think I got 24 of them. Maple pancakes. This one has pea protein, isolate, date powder, molasses, chia seeds, flax seeds, hemp parts, and the rest of the same at the end. So this is another one that's bigger, 100% plant-based. That's another peanut butter. Mocha dream. And this one actually has about 100 milligrams of caffeine. I didn't know one was going to come with caffeine. Well, if I get another box of this, I might get more than one of this one. <laughs> the next time around. I was like, mocha? That sounds coffee-like. Y'all know I don't like coffee. Uh, this one has whey protein concentrate, FYI, in it, though. But And 15% of the iron in this, 20 grams of... And I'm just trying to see if there's any other ones we haven't seen yet in here. Because I got... There's a few of them I got... Double, this is green and apple cinnamon. And white chocolate raspberry. Okay, so that's what I want to share with you guys. I just heard a knock on my door, which is probably another box that I need to unbox for you because I think my Black Friday deals are going to be here. But if you have any questions, guys, let me know. I can send you the link and we'll chat later. Bye.